Hello friends, welcome to ProTalent and I am sure all of you must be putting a lot of efforts for your studies. I am sure sabko maza raha hoga ProTalent ki padai ke saath. This is our fifth session on roots. We are working on Greek roots and we term it as root learning, not a rot learning. Thik hai na? Toh, bhaiya, ye paanch roots mein aapke saath discuss karne wala hoon. Law ki entrance exam ho gai, ya MBA ki entrance exam ho gai. Maha pe, ye aapko bharpoor madad karega. ये रूट्स आपको अलग अलग जगह पे मदद कर सकते हैं ताकि आप जल्द से जल्द वर्ड्स को याद रखें ओके सो प्रोटेलिन की तरफ से फाइव वर्ड्स पर डे का एक मॉड्यूल है और उसके साथ साथ यू कैन से यू हैव लॉट ऑफ सच काइंड ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स अवेलेबल ऑन वो कैब सो प्लीज गो थ्रू दैम ओके चलिए ग्रेट सो फटाफट देखते हैं आज के पांच रूट गैम जियो ग्नो ग्राम हैमी ओके लेट मी स्टार्ट टॉक अबाउट गैम गैम मीन्स मैरिज Okay, so this is monogamy. Mono is a single marriage. Okay, mono one. You can say other is gammy is a marriage. Polygamy, many marriages. Bigamy, two marriages and gamet. Let's start with the first word called gamet. A mature sexual reproductive cell having a single set of unpaired chromosome that is called gamet. Okay, so gamet. refers to a mature sexual reproductive cell okay that is a single set of unpaired chromosome theek okay? hai so that is called gamete although anonymous gamete donation is banned in 11 countries at the time of this writing as a karke pura sentence aa raha hai so gamete donor anonymous that means aisa koi banda jo marriage nahi karna chahta hai but trying to you can say provide those kind of donation about they are you can say chromosomes or you can say those eggs okay monogamy having single spouse at a point in time that is called monogamy single marriage polygamy means having more spouses you can say at a particular point in time having many marriages that's a polygamy great next word is called geo i'm sure all of you are aware about geo that means earth geology geography and geothermal okay so what is geology geology is a science that deals with the earth surfaces geo means earth earth surfaces okay so geology is a study of that okay study of earth surfaces while geography geography refers to the something written about the earth surfaces which talks about topography soil vegetation atmosphere ye sab cheezon ke bare mein jo baatein hoti hai that is called geography okay and then we have a geo thermal which of which generally refers to the heat coming from the earth heat coming from the earth that is called geothermal theek hai aapko pata hoga geothermal energy earth hai theek hai uske zameen ke andar bahut zyada energy hai aur us energy ko harness karna that is called geothermal energy sources okay so this is of the idea is next root is gno gno refers to no that is knowledge okay so therefore the word called agnosia agnostic and gnomic okay so what is agnosia okay so we talked about a word a koi bhi word ke aage a lag jayega to wo cheez nahi ho payegi so gnosia having a knowledge agnosia having no knowledge so that means an inability to recognize objects by use of senses आपके सेंसेस के द्वारा आपके जो पांच सेंस ठीक है दैट इज आईज टंग से स्किन दैट इज से ईयर स्मेल ठीक है सो दो आर योर सेंसेस उनके द्वारा कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट को आप रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं कर पाते हो उसको बोला जाता है एग्नोसिया ओके सो दैट इज इनेबिलिटी टू रिकोगनाइज ऑब्जेक्ट बाई यूज ऑफ सेंसेस दैट इज कॉल्ड ग्नो एग्नोसिया ओके एंड देन अनदर वर्ड इज कॉल एग्नोस्टिक agnostic is someone who doubts the existence of certain knowledge okay someone who is a doubtful or non committal about something so person who claims that they cannot have a true knowledge about the existence of god 
this is primarily connected to the god okay so i'm sure you know atheist who is an atheist someone who does not believe in god well agnostic is the person who says there is a doubt about existence of god okay so atheist and agnostic thoda sa antar hai atheist bolta hai bhagwan hi nahi hai agnostic bolta hai i have a doubt about the true existence of god so there is a difference so that is doubter agnostic okay uske opposite ho gaye acceptor or gnostic so gnostic ka matlab ho gaya someone who has a knowledge who believes in it okay that's the word called gnostic okay gnostic as g n o so this is how the idea is dhyan rakhna this is a very different than genome okay theek hai genome alag ho jata hai this is gno okay so ye galti nahi honi chahiye aage badhte hain the next root is called gram gram refers to letter and thereby we have a word called grammar we have anagram and we have hologram what is grammar grammar is a branch of linguistic that deals with the arrangement of the letters that is syntax or morphology uske sath wo connect karta hai that's called grammar okay so wahan se padha hai gram grammar letter ke sath connected hai and then you have a word called anagram anagram is a word or a phrase or spelled in in rearranging a particular group of word okay aapko shabdon ko rearrange karke uska ek meaningful word banana hai that is called anagram ek exam hoti hai ek competition hoti hai ek tarike ki game hoti hai anagram ओके, सो आपको दिया जाता है कोई भी वर्ड उसके लेटर्स को रीअरेंज करके आपको उनमें से बहुत सारे वर्ड्स बनाने हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड एनाग्राम एंड देन देर इज अ होलोग्राम दैट इज इंटरमीडिएट फोटोग्राफ सो इट इज नॉट अ फुल फोटोग्राफ ठीक है इट इज अ थ्री डायमेंशनल केपेबिलिटी एंड इट कंटेन्स इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर रिप्रोड्यूसिंग थ्री डायमेंशनल इमेज बाय होलोग्राफी ठीक है आपने देखा होगा बहुत सारी आजकल किताबें आती है उसमें होलोग्राम लगाया जाता है ताकि लोग गलत या नकली किताब ना परचेस कर सके ठीक है दैट्स अ ग्राम ग्राम माने लेटर वी हैव नेक्स्ट रूट कॉल हेमी हेमी मींस पार्शल और सेमी हेमीस्फीयर दैट इज सेमीस्फीयर हेमी साइकिल हेमी टॉनिक ओके सो वॉट इज हेमीस्फीयर हेमीस्फीयर इज हाफ स्फीयर हाफ ग्लोब सो पूरा ग्लोब है ठीक है उसका आधा पार्ट इज कॉल्ड हेमीस्फीयर ओके सो दैट इज फॉर स्पीयर सेरेब्रल हेमीस्फीयर सो हमारे सेरेब्रल ब्रेन का कुछ आधा पार्ट दिस इज व्हाट दी हेमीस्फीयर देन यू हैव हेमी साइकिल व्हाट इज हेमी साइकिल हेमी साइकिल व्हिच इज अ प्लेन फिगर विथ अ शेप ऑफ हाफ सर्कल सो दैट इज कॉल्ड हेमी साइक्लिक दैट मींस एक तरीके का ऐसा मूवमेंट होना दिस इज कॉल्ड हेमी साइक्लिक a uh, plain figure with a shape of half of a circle this is how the word called hemicycle and similarly we have called hemitonic okay so that is semitonic so that means it is not a full completion of a cycle other cycle complete hua hai aisi cheezon ko bola jata hai hemitonic okay chali great so with this i am closing this particular session i hope you have you have learned good roots related to again so english words okay chali great so with this i'm closing thank you very much for watching this and all the best for the rest